Today's video is sponsored by Boxu. Check the link in the description box below to get 10% off using the code NERDYCRAFTER10. I spent over $240 on the contents of this box. Yes, you heard. I paid over $240. What's in it? Let's find out. So for those of you who don't know, recently I've been really obsessed with My Little Pony custom figures. In previous videos, I have customized a few of them to kind of look like the aesthetic I prefer. And yes, they are cute and magical, but sometimes I like things just this much... This... This much weird. Because I'm weird. Huh, she's weird and self-aware. Interesting. And so when my friend sent me a link to My Little Pony figurines, I've never seen My Little Pony figurines like this. You'll see exactly what I mean. I couldn't miss the opportunity to get them. I don't usually splurge, but this this is quite the splurge. So let's open it up and see what we got. The bottom. We got the bottom. Bruh. So I guess it's upside down. Kind of like in the in the way. We have Freeney's Hidden Dissectables Series One My Little Ponies. Even though this is my first time dealing with dissectables, apparently it's a thing. So there are figurines out there that range from One Piece, Sesame Street, and even SpongeBob. So the idea of having characters split in half and you can see their insides was just like, oh wow, I need to see this in pony form. Just wow. I'm not sure if a whole box gives us the entire series, so I'm really hoping that I do get every single one of them and maybe even doubles? because that means I'll be able to customize those doubles as well. If you haven't seen my customization videos, I'll leave them in the description box below, so make sure that you do check them out after this video. The outside of the box does say six characters and three special, although you can technically just buy individual boxes, which are blind boxes. I don't know if they're similar to Japanese remints, where you can buy the entire box and it guarantees you one of each set. Whereas in North America, I feel like sometimes you can buy an entire box and it doesn't guarantee you anything, so... Part of me is hoping for doubles, otherwise I will just destroy originals. So, I know many of you will be saying... But Jackie, you're doing it wrong, you're supposed to save the specials! Stop it! I do what I want! <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and see what we get inside. Carp, these are huge! Wait, there's only six of them? No! Ooh, we get 12. Interesting, really interesting. I know it's probably written in the description of the item I bought, but I usually never read them, so. So let's go ahead and take out one of the boxes, see what's. Oh, oh my god! Oh, I love you already! Oh, Grains, I'm gonna show you and you're gonna love it. Oh my, oh. I don't wanna break them. But I will! <laughs> All right, so let's take one of the boxes, see what's going on, and then we're going to unbox the entire thing. By the way, for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, otherwise I may or may not wave a sharp pointy thing or some really tiny scissors. So make sure you subscribe, and while you're there, make sure you click on all notifications. They're so tiny, so cute, and yet... So dangerous! And so each one of these boxes will set you back about $13 US. And since I'm dealing in Canadian dollars, which is kind of monopoly money, the exchange rate and the customs was... <coughs> break of my heart. Made me cry and cry because it's so much money. Why? And as you can see, the design in the front is similarly to the huge box, but on the side, we see six different characters. Since we get 12 of them, I'm really hoping that we get all of them plus a couple of doubles. I don't want them to just be doubles, and I hope we see the specials too. I'm looking at you. So let's go ahead and see what's in. Oh, is it taped? Yes, it is. That's good strategy though, so make sure no one can open it. <laughs> Out of the options, we can get Applejack, Fluttershy, Rarity, Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, and Twilight Sparkle. If anything, I would love Rainbow... I am... I love Rainbow Dash so much, Green. And Applejack. Those are my two top two. Wow, English. Vocabulary. Number one. Let me know in the comment section below which one would you hope for. If we don't see at least one of the specials, I'm not gonna be happy. 
and it's wrapped. And what do we get? I'm not gonna look. <gasps> we get Applejack! Oh my god. Okay, let me, let me remove the plastic first. It's a lot of plastic. And so here is one side of Applejack. It looks very normal. There are a couple of imperfections in the sculpt over here, so it's kind of sharp, but the figurine is pretty flexible. This is extre- oh, that is really flexible. It technically could break very easily though. And the other side, which is the interesting part, ta-da! The inside of the pony. So we can see everything from the skull and the eye socket indent. Eye socket. I think we're gonna go with eye socket. All the way down to the lungs, and I think these are the intestines. I didn't do too well in biology. Do not judge me <laughs> and also the skeletal structure i'm really surprised the hair wasn't turned into slim fibers where the parts that were halved were there but i can see also why the tail is very fragile look at that Fra fragile Fra fragile in british english fragile in american english fragile weak <laughs> There's already a slight crack right over here. And if you're wondering, no, they don't stand on their own and they do give us a cute little stand that has little hearts. One eternity later. Okay, there's no reason for this to be so hard. Why is this so hard? And then we get two items inside the box. We have this over here so that we can register our figurine and gain points from the store. And in here, I'm guessing we get a drawing or card of the figurine. How do I open this without injuring it? The answer is yes. Oh, I like that. In previous unboxings, they just kind of throw the card in there so you get a spoiler of what you have. But as you can see here, we get a still photo of the figurine. I really would have loved or preferred the animated figure on this card. Let me know what you greens prefer. Is this a sticker? No. Our next pony is... Applejack again? Really? So soon? You couldn't have not just put like, not next to each other, at least one level lower. Good news is, I'm going to be doing a custom Applejack. But also let me know if we if we if we get other things than Applejack. Let me know what you would like to see me customize. Next. Wait, what? I'm not sure what's going on here, but this one has no tape. If I take another one, it has tape. Why is it so inconsistent? What's going on? I swear, if this is Applejack again, this is not good. And, ooh, is that Rarity? <gasps> I love her pose. Ermy, good, I love her so much. This pose is really cool and kind of complex in order to make the insides. And the way she's just sitting down with one paw, well, one hoof, one leg up is really neat. The insides though seem to be very consistent with the other ones. I thought maybe they would be different colors or maybe different spoopiness on the inside, but no, they're they're quite the same. The twistiness of her hair is beautiful. I feel like the color is a little desaturated. Maybe that's me. And I quite like it. My only disappointment is that we don't see the horn split in half, which would have been kind of cool. I don't know what I expect to be on the inside. Maybe glitter? All right, here's the magic of editing. I just put in some glitter. There you go. You're welcome. It's, it's not just glitter. It's rainbows. Rainbows and glitter. <laughs> And this here is her card. Again, I'm not a fan. I would rather the animated type look. This has tape. Our next pony, not you. Our next pony is, yeah. <gasps> yes, my baby, rainbow baby. Oh, I love it. So here is our Rainbow Dash Ermie Gerd. The expression on her face is spot on. I love the rainbows on her tail and of course her hair. The colors on this one are way more vibrant than the other ones. I'm not quite sure why these pieces are not connecting, but otherwise it's okay. I feel like I could probably fix that if we do get a double. There's also a scuff mark right here. For a premium product, there really shouldn't be small mistakes like these ones or that one. 
And the fact that she's frowning once we turn her around, er maker. This piece, I think because of all the colors and the rainbow, just makes everything stand out way more. And the frown is still a frown in the eye socket, so I love this so much. And we also get the bone structure for the wings. And I feel like the inside of this one is different from the previous ones. Here they are side by side. It's just a slight coloration. Wait a minute. So they each have different colors for the meat section. Muscles. So on Applejack, we have red. Rarity is pink and blue for Rainbow Dash. It's not like they didn't paint it a different color because there's obviously a difference in the blue with the skin and the blue with the muscles. Oh my God, I love you. I love you so much. And the card. Extra long tape. <laughs> Next skeleton child is... Uh, oh, really? See, that's why I love the Japanese remit sets way better than North American sets. It, they don't scam you. Next. I already have two repeats. I don't want more. That should suffice. Give us something new and... Uh, <gasps> Fluttershy. And now for Fluttershy's sculpt. It's okay. It's kind of cute but there's nothing special about it that we haven't seen in the previous ones. What I don't like is that the hair kind of covers the head, the face. Can't really see her face very well. And on the inside, we get something quite similar to Rainbow Dash. We have the wing type skeletal form. And just so you grains know, it is kind of flexible. The entire thing is quite flexible. We still have that weird gap between the hairs, but I guess this time her muscle is also pink. The skeletal expression is softer and it's kind of cute. I really would love to make these even creepier though. There's room for improvement. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Next spookiness is... Oh, <gasps> is that a special? That's a special! Whoa, so glittery. What, you? Oh, you want to see it? Okay. <laughs> That's weird. So the special that we get is Fluttershy, the exact same mold. However, this one, is it the same cutie mark? Yes. It's the exact same mold, except this here has a very rough feel to it. Kind of like a very slim sandpaper. My guess is that this is resin. It feels like resin. And the glitteriness on this is absolutely phenomenal. It's so glittery, holy carp grains. And the fact that the hair is transparent, we can see through and pretty much see the eyes. The skeletal side is still skeletal, but it's a lot less obvious. It would have been cool to have the skeletal side still white painted to give it a nice contrast so that both sides don't just blend into each other. But I think it's really cool. We finally got one of the specials. And it's good to know what the specials look like. Very shiny card. Well, not the card, but you, you, you know what I mean. <laughs> Can we make it to two specials in a row? And the answer is no. No, but I'm not, I'm not upset with this. I'm not upset with Rainbow Dash. I absolutely love her, so I am okay with this. So we are still missing Pinkie Pie and Twilight Sparkle. I have to say though, this package does feel a little heavier. Maybe it's me, but it does feel slightly more dense than the, re than the rest. We have this first and then, no. Mm. <sighs> okay. I'm not pleased. That is the nicest way I could say this. We only have three of these left and I still don't have the original six on the front of the package. I know we got a rare one, but now all the rest seem to be doubles. I don't like it. Please give us at least the original six and then the rares are just bonuses. Please don't do this to me. Mighty Jacks, don't break them hot. I cannot take it when too many companies craft kits, they break them hot. Crafting, it break them hot. Unboxing, don't you too break them hot, please. Please, for the love of salt, be something different. I can't just have bought over $240 and I just get four or five figurines. That's a lot per figure. And... So we finally have Twilight Sparkle. She is beautiful. Oh, wow. I absolutely 
absolutely love the pose, the sculpt, and the facial expression on her. I love everything about this sculpt. It just feels, even though we turn it on the other side and we can see the skeletal component of her and the wings, even the wing itself has a pose. So it's not just going straight upwards like with Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy, but instead it has this cute little curve. And also her hair is not really blocking anything, so I think this is probably one of my favorites alongside with Rainbow Dash. But I also really like Rarity's pose. But she doesn't stand on her own, which means we need to put that little uh, plasticky thing. Of course. And her card. Do notice though that she is leaning this way. So if you did look at her straight, this part is leaning downward, so you can't really see too well if it's straight on, kind of like this. So I've been taking the footage from the bottom part, otherwise it's a kind of hidden. Now we're technically missing just Pinkie Pie. I don't think this is Pinkie Pie simply because from the pictures, it seems like she has quite a bit of hair. However, this feels quite light. So, oh, the second time in a row, I'm wrong. So we got Pinkie Pie. <laughs> I was wrong and I am really happy that I'm wrong because you know what? It's okay to be wrong as long as you admit it. Come here, baby. So I can't believe it, we actually got the entire set of the six originals. And so far, so far, we do have one more box left, which means potentially we could get another of these specials. Technically, let's see how lucky we are. But first, oh my God, she is adorable. She is so cute. I love her hair. I love the details and the little lines on there. And for one of the rare times, we don't have that awkward separation. The expression on her face is just cute. And then when we turn it around, everything on the inside, the dissected part is clear. So this is one of the rare ones that is not obstructed at all. And she has this cute little pose of hesitation, which is one of my favorites. And in this case too, she has her mouth slightly parted. So I have to say she's going in with my favorites. I think my least favorite is probably Fluttershy. Let me know so far which one of these is your favorite and which one is your least favorite. I'm very curious in the comment section below. And Pinkie Pie's card. So since this is our last one, I think we should pray to the, the gods of Evermore again. Dear unboxing gods of Evermore, please protect me from doubles, triples, and maybe even quadruples. And please give me a special. I don't know what my hope level is, to be honest. I feel like it's down here, simply because all of these things break on my heart and they put my hopes so high up, but then they bring me down. However, I have to say it does feel different. I keep saying that, and it's the same thing over again, so I'm just I'm just not gonna make any guesses. And the answer is another Pinkie Pie. Unboxing gods have forsaken me. Thanks for nothing. And so here they all are. Let me know which one of these original six, and let's not forget the special, is your favorite. I still think number one for me would be Rainbow Dash and Twilight Sparkle number two. I am definitely not happy at the fact that five out of the 12, that's 42-ish percent of this box were just doubles. It's really a huge bummer when you grab an entire case and the only thing you're getting is doubles. It would just be way more beneficial, much again, like Japanese remints, to make sure that whoever's buying the case to actually get the entire product. Please, companies, don't do this. mentioned at the beginning of this video, we are sponsored by Boksu. For those of you who don't know, Boksu is a premium Japanese snack subscription box. It's not like many of the other ones where they just stuff in dagashi, which is really cheap, very cheap Japanese snacks. Boksu's focus is on premium high quality items. They also partner up with companies that are well over a hundred years old, well established in Japan, which means that you get some really cool exclusives. They have different plans that range from an individual box, single month, or multi-month subscription that starts around $36.99. And for those of you who are new, you will start with a tasting snack box so that you get a good feel of what's included. And then after that, each month is based on a theme in which you'll be able to taste anywhere between 20 and 25 snacks. That also has a tea pairing to go with it. And so for example, this month we have Autumn Harvest. Let's try some of the snacks. Morino Madeleine apparently has apple stuffing. Oh, oh, that smells good. Mmm. Ooh. Oh, oh yes, I need more. Mmm, mmm, mmm. 
chestnut pie. Usually not that sweet. Oh, mmm. Definitely not too sweet. Just right for a sweet tooth. Green tea financier. Oh, smells like green tea. Oh, that is dense. Good for you. <laughs> Looks pretty decadent on the inside. Oh, I've never tasted something like that before. Literally like eating a green and black tea with sweet caramel? Yes, please. My favorite thing, of course, in addition to the snacks, is the cultural guide. You get to know where each snack comes from, but also whether or not there are allergens and if it's vegetarian. I absolutely love it when subscription boxes go the extra mile to make sure that it's an experience that you are getting. So if you're interested, check the link in the description box below. To get 10% off, that's up to $44 discount on your own authentic Japanese snack subscription box using the code NERDYCRAFTER10. Thank you, Boxu, for sponsoring this video. And this week's shoutouts goes to all the grains that went ahead and got their salt shaker plushie. Er, me good. Thank you so much for being amazing, for being there. And if for those of you who didn't get any, I did try to pick up extra for giveaways. If you want to watch a My Little Pony customization, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a Cash or Trash where we review crap kits, make sure you check down here. I'll see you grains in the next video.